proton. So, uh, so the difference between these two uh, reactions is that we have a single arrow over here, which means that the reaction goes to completion. And we have a double arrow over here, which means it's a reversible reaction, which means that uh, CH3COO negative can react with hydronium ions to form back ethanoic acid and water. So HCl is a strong acid because uh, it has dissociated fully into ions. As you can see over here, it has uh, the reaction has gone to completion. But uh, CH3COOH is a weak acid because it has uh, dissociated partially into ions. So, uh, it, so you can see it's a reversible reaction. It has only partially dissociated into ions, not fully. So uh, HCl is a strong acid and ethanoic acid is a weak acid. Now let's look at bases. So we have sodium hydroxide. Uh, so we have sodium hydroxide, which is this. Not why did I make a negative charge? There is no negative charge over here. No, and we have water. Not water, we just have sodium hydroxide because it is in aqueous solution. So when sodium hydroxide dissociates, it gives Na plus plus OH negative. So it has completely dissociated into Na plus and OH negative ions. It has fully dissociated into Na plus and OH negative ions. Now, um, so that's why it is a strong base because it has fully dissociated. But when I have ammonia and when ammonia reacts with water, I get a reversible reaction which gives me NH4 plus which is the ammonium ion plus OH negative, which is the hydroxide ion. So now, uh, as you can see, NH3 has acted as a base because it has accepted a proton from the water molecule. It has accepted a proton from the water molecule to form NH4 plus, and the water molecule has acted as an acid uh, because it has donated a proton. So the ammonia, um, so ammonia has acted as a base, and water has acted as an acid because water has donated a proton and formed an OH negative ion. So now the, this reaction goes to completion. Uh, so this means that NaOH is a strong base and this reaction does not go to completion. It is reversible. So it will reach equilibrium, but it will not go to completion, which means ammonia is a weak base. So uh, weak bases also dissociate partially and, we, and strong bases also dissociate fully, just like strong acids. And an amphoteric substance can be both acidic and alkaline, for example, water. So um, water has acted as a, as a base when uh, in these two cases, water has reacted as a base. And in this case, water has reacted as an acid. So water is an amphoteric substance. Now I'm going to erase all of this apart from the first one and the last one because we are going to do conjugate acid bases pair acid base pairs now okay so if this is acid uh, if this is the acid it don it do it uh, donates a proton okay i am taking the wrong example let me take the example of ethanoic acid I'll take the example of ethanoic acid. So it is CH3, COOH, plus H2O in a reversible reaction gives me CH3, CO negative. Plus H plus, okay. So um, yeah. So now, if this is an acid, because it has donated a proton, this is its conjugate base. Because uh, when it donates a proton, so I'll explain the meaning of the conjugate base once I'm done with this. So what happens is that when 
this acid donates a proton to H2O, it forms CH3COO negative. Now, ethanoic acid is an acid because it donates a proton, but when it forms the ethanoic